Hey guys, it's Greg, and in this video, we're gonna see how to use the new updated SiteGround client area and site tools to install WordPress on a blog or a website. As I always say, it's the same copy of WordPress, whether you're making a blog or a website. However, if you're watching one of our old videos, SiteGround will not look the same now because they just updated everything. They want to do that to give you guys an experience that's all at SiteGround, get rid of the cPanel, and have everything built within the site tools and the new client area, which is just the name for what you're gonna be looking at. So if you just bought your hosting at SiteGround, watch this video and we'll learn how to install WordPress with the newest, latest and greatest tools. All right, let's hop in. Good job guys. So now we can click proceed to customer area. You might notice a ton of cool things to play around with and learn now that you have your own SiteGround customer area, but most of you are probably eager to get WordPress set up on your new blog, so let's just click set up site. So now we're in the add new website screen. If you add multiple websites at SiteGround, you'll see this screen a lot, and website and blog are the same terms here because we're just going to install WordPress. So under start new website, we're gonna click on select. Then where it says choose application, we're gonna select WordPress. So now we just need to enter in our email and pop in a password and we'll be all set to install WordPress. Try to make sure you have a strong password and now we can click continue. It'll ask you if you want any additions to your new WordPress blog, like the SG site scanner. This one checks your website daily and lets you know if you've been hacked, but I think you'd be able to tell if that happened. So we're gonna skip that one. And then we have domain privacy. This one's actually good because it makes sure that you don't get spam sent to you automatically just from registering a domain name. So people can't see like who you are and see your personal information. So. I like to add that one nowadays. Domain privacy isn't mandatory. I actually have a lot of domain names and websites from the past without privacy on, and I'm doing fine. I don't get much spam. But nowadays, a lot of people are starting to go with domain privacy. So we need to pay for that, and it's only $12 a year. So I'm just gonna leave the payment card I have in there, confirm, and pay now. And it's gonna jump right into creating your WordPress website. So right now, SiteGround is going about installing WordPress. One thing I really love about SiteGround is it only takes two minutes to get you up and running with your website. On a lot of other website hosts, um, it could take more time to install WordPress, like half an hour or an hour. But as you can see there, you're all set and you now have a new WordPress blog. So congratulations, you're probably super excited now. How do we log in and build your WordPress blog? Well, one option is just to open a new tab, type in our domain name, and we can see what we see. All right, so that's super cool. WordPress is actually ready here. A few minutes ago, we had nothing. We had no domain name, no WordPress site, and now you have your own complete WordPress.org installation just like the pros like Forbes, Jay-Z, Walt Disney, Beyonce, and so on and so forth are using. So that's great news. As far as our username and password, we can open up our email, click on the one that says your website, blah, 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 at SiteGround, and scroll down and find your WordPress password. It'll say something like start editing your site content. You can go ahead and do that through your WordPress admin panel. So they give us a link to log in here, a username, and they say the password is just the one we made during installation a few moments ago. Should be easy enough as long as you didn't forget that already. So I don't wanna use this admin URL because it's really long and you'd never wanna actually type this in again when you wanna log into your blog. So I'm gonna go back to our WordPress site here just at the domain name.com on your homepage and type in forward slash WP dash admin, A-D-M-I-N and hit enter. And that's how everyone logs in. They just type that in after their domain name, that forward slash WP dash A-D-M-I-N and hit enter. Now we can go ahead and log in. We're gonna hit remember me to save time in the future and you can bookmark this if you want to make it even easier and log in. All right, and welcome to your new WordPress site at SiteGround. So from having used a lot of different hosts, I know that it doesn't always look this good, but this looks really cool. It's nice to have a custom welcome page. 
Now before you click start now and begin making your WordPress blog, I want to tell you two more important steps. So SiteGround, after we made our WordPress site, told us to point your domain. If you see this message, I want you to follow me on this one quick step here because you should know how to point your domain and change the name servers just for future projects. All right, so what we want to do is just copy these two pieces of information here. I'm going to copy them. Open up a new text file document. There it is. Just going to paste those in and now I'll show you where to put them. All right, so back at SiteGround, we're going to click on Home and then Services, then Domains. And you'll see your domain name that you bought right here. Congratulations, looking super nice and shiny. And now we're just going to click on Manage and then Manage Name Servers. All right, and then what we want is for name server one to match our name server one that we copy pasted that SiteGround told us about. So it does, that looks good, just reading over it. And name server two matches name server two. So name server one is just NS1, blah, blah, blah. Name server two is just NS2, blah, blah, blah. And it looks like that was a false alarm. Our name servers are already working, so you don't need to touch this at all. But if these pieces of information look different than these two, then go ahead and make sure you paste the ones that SiteGround gave us right here where my mouse is in this screen and then click confirm. Name servers tell your domain name where to go. So if your domain name was bought at like GoDaddy and then you got SiteGround hosting, you would have to enter in your SiteGround name servers at GoDaddy to say, hey, when someone visits the domain name, go over to that thing at SiteGround that I made. Or if you moved your website to a different location and then you wanted to like launch it, a lot of people launch by changing the name servers. It just tells the domain name that when anyone, including you, visits the domain name, that they should go to the proper website. All right, ours are working, so we don't need to change a thing here. The second step you need to do is just verify your domain name. You'll get an email from SiteGround that says something like verification required. So just open that up, scroll down, and click on the approved domain name link. All right, those two things said, we can start working in WordPress. So come back to our SiteGround window and let's click start now and get going. All right, so the funnest part comes right now. Um, that is a word, by the way, funnest. I've made it one. And we're gonna choose a fancy design for your website. So here's some free themes they recommend. These are all really popular. Coffee shop, obviously they probably know me and just, you know, pick that one through the algorithm. And then, yeah, you might like them. You might not like them. These are just some of the best themes that people use at SiteGround. If you scroll up, you can also choose categories. So we obviously want to make a blog. So blog options. SiteGround comes with many free blog themes, which also look professional and stunning. We used news site in our last tutorial. And the reason we like these free blog templates or free templates for any of these different categories with SiteGround is because your website looks good out of the box. You don't have to move things around and custom code and deal with a blank white screen, which scares a lot of people. Your website or blog is going to look good right away. Now, if you do want to actually hack up your site from scratch and go ahead and just, you know, build it like someone might have 10 years ago, then just go to your website, click on this button to go to the dashboard, hover on appearance and click themes. And you can find any theme in WordPress by clicking add new. A lot of them are really basic and minimalist and you'll end up doing a lot more from scratch. Or you can just edit your totally blank homepage that you see here, which is using the WordPress 2019 theme. Or I could even show you how to delete everything on this page right here and make it completely white screen. And then you can do everything from super scratch. But in our case, I know a lot of people want their blog to look good right away. They want it to look like the design they choose and not choose a design and get something that looks different. So. These fancy design templates are really useful to accomplish that. And the one we're going to use today is cookery. So you can click on the plus to preview any of these. All right. And I'll be showing you how to replace everything in this free cookery layout, like the logo, the navigation menu, the social media icons, which are in the header, that, which everyone likes. I'm going to show you how to replace these featured images, the circle profile box, colors, fonts, and so on and so forth, like this cool parallax image right here. So we're gonna stick with this look, but of course you can choose any look that catches your fancy. Um, I just know from doing a little of my own background research and homework that this one performs particularly well, 
for blogs that want to be profitable. Okay, so with that said, let's hit select. And it's going to say great choice. Okay, so they approve. Now it's going to say recommended elementary. What is that? Elementary is a really big deal in WordPress right now. They're probably the best page builder that uses drag and drop. So you don't need to know code. You can actually design your website by clicking on things and saying like, oh, I want you beneath this, or I want you on the upper right corner. That's what Elementor does. It's of course free, like almost everything in WordPress now that we have our own hosting. So really good and we'll confirm. Now it'll ask if we want a few more plugins that are recommended. So contact form is good. Jetpack, we don't need that connects with WordPress.com. Shop, all right, you could set up an e-commerce shop if you want, but that'll be a different video. And calendar. So I don't really like calendars. I never really know what day it is. So we're just gonna keep contact form selected and continue. Now there's some marketing plugins, all right, more plugins. So Google Analytics, we're not gonna use because I like doing that by scratch at uh, you know Google Analytics site themselves. We are gonna select Yoast because every blog post should be optimized for SEO and Yoast makes that easy. And we're not gonna do the gross subscribers list because I recommend constant contact to do that separately. Really fun, easy, and you kinda of wanna manage that outside of your blog. Now complete. All right, installation is underway. All right, congrats, your site is ready. Now we're just gonna to go to dashboard.